हेलो गाइस, आई एम प्रजित बत्रा एंड वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल आज की हमारी वीडियो में हमारे साथ है मिस्टर प्रांश हु इज एनालिस्ट एट बीन इन कंपनी सो टुडे वी विल लर्न फ्रॉम हिस इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस एंड वी विल लर्न व्हाट हिट डेड टू गेट सच अ गुड प्लेसमेंट सच अ गुड कंपनी सो वी विल स्टार्ट विद अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ प्रांश एंड विल गेट डीप डाइव इन द हायरिंग प्रोसेस सो हाई एवरी एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक रजत फॉर हैविंग मी हेयर सो आई एम प्रांश एंड आई डिड माई a bachelor of engineering from thapar thapar institute of engineering and technology uh, patiala so i'm from shimla and i love sports and i love traveling a lot i have been to a few treks also and so yeah that was my introduction that was a great introduction prans so tell us uh, tell our viewers uh, how you got this opportunity was it an off campus one or an on campus so the opportunity to get into bain was an on campus Uh, I think Bain and company come to Thapa every year, so yeah, through the campus recruitment, I got into Bain. And what was the hiring criteria? Some there was some eligibility criteria or something of such sort. Yeah, so when they came, uh, first of all, it was open to all anybody who wished to could uh, register themselves for Bain. So yeah, due to a uh, high number of candidates who applied for this position, they had to shortlist them. So the f- initial criteria was eighty percent in twelfth uh, boards. Okay. So whosoever w- had uh, above it uh, could join uh, for the later processes. Okay, and how many rounds were there? What was the means entire process? So there were, th- I would say, three rounds. There was the first round was like an online test. Uh, I do not remember the uh, portal that was uh, on what it was conducted on. Uh, so yeah, the first it was an online test. After that, there were two rounds of interview uh, mainly. So the first round was like a guesstimate round. It was uh, a very formal round to be honest. Uh, they asked a few quizzes. Like you would get most of them on Geeks for Geeks. They are like yeah. So it revolves around them. And then. There were some quizzes. There were some few questions, uh, tricky questions, and all. And then there was this main guesstimate round, where they could ask you anything. And after that, it was kind of an informal session, to be honest. Like it was me. It was also in like an HR, uh, HR round. But mostly, it was centered around a case study. Like it was a case study round, to be honest. So yeah, it depends upon uh, different CEOs upon what they are gonna ask. So yeah, three rounds overall. So can we elaborate on each round in greater detail? Start starting from the first online test. Yeah. So the first test consisted of twenty questions. There were eight questions of verbal ability, and twelve questions were of data interpretation. So three data interpretation questions, and they had they had four parts each. So yeah, I would say that test was quite tough. Like those data interpretation questions were quite tough. Not even gonna lie. So yeah, that took quite a time. So yeah, the that was the first round. The second round. Uh, so I when I joined the meeting, the I had this normal introduction and all. Then he asked me a few questions on these puzzles. Like they were simple puzzles. Like, uh, you you will get them on geeks for geeks. They can ask you anything. Uh. Mine was, I think, you have a uh, three jars. One is a three liter jar, five liter jar, and from those two jars, you have to make a four liter jar mm-hmm. uh, without. And you you don't have any measuring options and all. So yeah, so you uh, these questions. Then the guess image with which they asked me was guess the number of Hyundai cars in Delhi. Okay. So yeah. So I had a uh, standard one. Right? They they ask yeah. standard quizzes. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, standard quizzes. So then the guess estimate uh, that they gave to me was guess the number of Hyundai cars in Delhi, and I had a uh, quite a uh, practice on these type of questions, so I was able to a- ace it. So yeah, after that round, I think fifteen to twenty minutes later, I got the call that okay, you have been selected for the round two. Be prepared in an hour. So yeah, then again, I was very shiver. I was shivering at that time. I would like. Like uh, suddenly you get the greatest opportunity in life. Like to be honest, I would. I was even even expecting to reach this far. Like you know, you hear people who are preparing for this non-tech from an year or two, 
and like they know everything they know people at bain they have this great idea of like what they are going to do and all and suddenly you are there till the last round so yeah so i would uh, so yeah the, during the second round third round i would like to hang my interview he was very chill uh, he made me calm and then he started with a bit uh, this introductory and then he asked me to describe my entire life up till the age of 21 like how is engineering been then the i think we found a common ground on traveling so we talked about traveling a bit so yeah, that really helped me calm down then i was ready to you know go for the case study so yeah i was prepared till then so yeah then uh, the case study revolved uh, so that yeah so before this a bit of insight i went for pricing coe so when you clear the first round of the online test bain asks you to which coe would you like to prefer to join so i went for this pricing coe so my case study was based around pricing so i was asked suppose big bazaar wants to conduct a diwali sale and they wish to sell chocolates at a discount and they in turn are asking for manufacturers to give them some uh, uh this uh, discount in return so so as a manufacturer would you discount them because it's they who want to you know uh, give this discount it's not a, you can or you cannot so yeah so this was my case study so yeah again i would say i was able to do it thankfully <laughs> <laughs> and then i got the offer from bain so how many students are finally selected from your institute i think they were around 40 so mm-hmm. there were a total of around 120 interns this time uh, for the winter program they had bain has and around 40 were from thapur like i think the biggest number i would say one third <laughs> good to, good to hear that and congratulations france for such a, a great offer So, uh, would you Thank like you to so give much. some? <laughs> would you like to give some advice to the juniors who are preparing for non-tech, uh, non-tech uh, roles? Okay, so the people who have already started preparing for the non-tech roles, I would say that you must study the case studies and case image from. There's a book or PDF called Case Studies Interviews Cracked. so yeah that's the best book to be honest like it's like it just clears your bases you build a nice base and then you get the idea also like you see guesstimates they can ask you really anything like you cannot study for guesstimate you cannot cover it there is no syllabus for guesstimates so the best thing is i would say is that just uh, between your friends Just start asking these random questions like what me and my friends used to do is we are sitting in mess. Okay, guess the number of glasses here, and like or we are roaming around and this guess the number of shoes in Thapar, guess the number of trees, guess the number of cars in Patiala. Like we used to do this uh, like randomly. So this was so this this was even fun. Like you know, then you would see this heated group arguments. Like no, my strategy is right, mine is right. So yeah, so I would say. guesstimate you have to like you can you know, practice guesstimate yeah for the case studies you have to study it yeah so case studies a few case studies could be quite tough but you it is very simple to be honest like for those who are a part of engineering i think you have done uh, more complex things so i would say yeah Case studies. They studied from this that book. Then there is a YouTube series by Victor Cheng. The a few case study you can study from there, and then you'll get the idea. So thanks for such an insightful advice. Uh, and thanks for sharing your interview experience as well. So guys, if you agar if if you want to know something more about uh, such roles and non tech roles, you can ping him up on LinkedIn. I will put the uh, link of his profile in the description below. So if this video is good, then like, kare, subscribe, kare, and share it with your friends so that they can see it more and more so that they can get more benefit. So thank you, Pranish, for sharing your valuable interview experience. It was great to talk to you. Thank you so much, Rajat. And this concept of yours is very unique, and I really love it. and even you know i think uh, the students can refer to these videos and they will quite uh, get a quite an insight so yeah, thank you
Thank you so much. Thank you so much.